Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Duran over at Alpha 7 Trading Academy. Today's March 23rd. I wanted to go over how to build a scanner on Thinkorswim. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the scan tab on Thinkorswim. Now there's many things you could do here. I just want to go with the basics. Um, now what's most important to me is a, a good price stock it's up a certain amount uh, there's some volatility and um, it's either up or down a certain amount and there's some volatility and some good average volume okay with that being said here's one basic one that I have okay and in order to get it refreshed you always have to click scan so as you can see I'll put it to net change to the highest one and then um, I could go over looking to see if this is the type of list I want or if I want to scrub it a little bit higher. Uh, so let's actually start with nothing and replicate this. Now the first thing you want to do is let's figure out what do we want? What kind of stocks do we want to find? So I'll just go over a basic scan of what I would want and uh, the first thing that I would care about is the price. I don't like to have anything too small because I do want to have a very good price range. So let's say we'll do from 25 to 100, okay? From there, I'm also going to do volume, right? Because I don't want anything low in volume. And remember, this is actually very important. Be careful where, how much volume you put on, at a certain time because if you're looking for a million, uh, right at the open or 10 minutes after the open you're not gonna find much so make sure that when you are adding volume that it's already the middle of the day and that your averages seem pretty fair for that time of the day okay so volume we're looking at around I would say uh, a million okay a million shares uh, a million shares traded alright and I add something for myself which is a volatility index which I'll go over shortly and then the last thing is percentage. Percentage gain or loss. And this should be enough because what I'm looking for is I'm looking for volatility. I want something that's in, in motion and that has action and has very good price range. So at least I know anywhere from 25 to 100, it has the ability to have some, some uh, good range. Uh, volatility will allow me to know that there's a lot of liquidity there. Uh, it's not thin. It's thick and there's a lot of players in, in, uh, in the stock. So I don't have to worry about uh, any big slippage or anything of that nature. The next thing, percentage gain or loss, I want to have something that's already up 2% or down 2%. Reason being is I already know there's action. And most importantly, there may be some sort of non-systemic catalyst that's allowing it to go up or down more than usual and that's what I'm looking for I'm looking for that that uh, stocks that have some sort of catalyst that are moving today uh, for uh, an independent reason whether it's for their company or the industry itself okay so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a stock filter we click add stock filter here and we'll use last price for the price so we're gonna do from 25 okay all the way to max okay next thing we're gonna do is net change now here's the issue with with the with uh, the scanner that I don't like is that I can't do both anything greater than two percent and anything less than two percent okay so what you actually have to do which I'll teach you soon is uh, create individual scanners for bulls and bearish uh, uh, stocks Okay, so let's say we want to start with uh, bearish stocks since today we had a, a, a pretty big down day, I would say. So let's go. We want anything that's going to be okay. We want something that's negative two percent. Okay, negative two percent to max, right? All right. And uh, next thing we're going to do is add volume. 
Ah, and look at that, pops up. So like I said, let's do a million. Okay, minimum is a million. All right, and lastly, we could either do net change or percentage change. Doesn't really matter. Um, for for it's probably best we do percentage change because we're also looking at twenty five dollar stock. So let's look at two percent again. Uh, minimum is max negative two. Okay, and lastly, we'll do volatility index. All right, and usually I'm looking for, and then we'll click scan. And one thing that I'll move around isn't really volume or change or last price. It'll be the volatility index. I'll just kind of get an idea of where, how many stocks are where. Okay. So I'll do some little brackets, see where they range from. All right, so I'll start from here, and I'll go all the way to max. All right, so here we go. So we have a nice little list here of net change of anything over greater than two. Okay, so as we can see, we have a lot of stocks, BRS, EMP, CLDX. Uh, I'm weaning out a lot of bad stocks that you have to go through, choppy ones, things that don't move. And right away, we're moving to uh, very important stocks that are moving, and may have a lot of good opportunities uh, laid out for us. Now, the last thing that I'm going to show you is, well, two last things, is how to save it. So since we're looking at uh, percentages less than 2%, then this is going to be the bearish. So what we'll do is we'll do a save scan query, and we'll call it, um, we'll call it T uh, hot list bearish. Okay, so that way we know that it's for the bearish end. All right, so now whenever I want, I could load, I could load, go to uh, personal, and go to hot list bearish, and boom. Lastly, you could even turn this into um, a watch list. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So we're gonna go here on the sidebar. We're gonna click the plus sign, open up a watch list. Okay, we're gonna go to personal. All right, and we're going to go to, well, um, I apologize. Give me a sec, go to scan, pull this back up. All right, so what we do here is you click right here. And it'll say save watch list. So you could do today's hot list. All right, and then delete it at the end of the day. And then I'll pull it up here. Personal, today's hot list. I'll detach here. And voila. Okay. Now I have that scan. I have it all set up here. So I could take a look at it here for a closer look. Uh, I could also move it to another screen. So that way I could keep my other screen here. And match it, link it to the red, so that way I could just go up and down and switch to the charts like that. And start scanning through, just like that, and maybe do that three times a day. Alright, so I hope you guys learned how to create a watch list. I mean, how to scan for stocks, most simple scan, and then how to also add them to a watch list. And later on, maybe I'll think about doing a more uh, complex scan. For now, thank you for watching, and have a good day.